Morning transport nerds and fellow planners, welcome back to Talking Planning. Today I am on a bus, finally, for the first time in ages, like three months or so, pretty much. And it's very exciting. I'm in Dubbo today, and I'm travelling with bus lines over to Arana Mall. After an early morning drive and a lovely breakfast, I popped over to Riverdale Mall bus stop and jumped on board. Living this far west, of course, we're well beyond the bounds of the Opal network, and this required the purchase of a paper ticket. When travelling to a new town or city, I always enjoy taking public transport, as it gives you the lay of the land pretty quickly. Dubbo is a fairly large regional centre, and bus routes in regional towns tend to do loop services, or at the least pass through lots of different areas of town. The 570 service which I caught travels between the city centre and Arana Mall, taking around 25 minutes. Dubbo's bus network is operated by the Bus Lines Group, who are major players in regional New South Wales public transport. Bus Lines has services in Ballina, Bathurst, Berrima, Dubbo, Forster, Griffith, Lithgow, Northern Rivers, Orange, Tamworth and Wingham, among several others. This, however, is still my first, and to this date, only journey with bus lines, but so far, it's been a pretty good one. I have had to mute much of this video though, as like many regional buses, drivers love their radio turned up loud. I can assure you, however, that the music on board was entirely appropriate for an early morning country bus service. And as we're now making our way out along the route, let's talk about this specific bus. This bus is number 34, which is one of their Volvo B8 RLEs, and I believe it's Euro 6. But I'm sure if it's not, someone will correct me. But it looks like this one might actually have the badge on the back. Unlike most bus techs, this one actually has its Euro 6 badge proudly displayed. And with a Volvo D8K engine offering up to 350 horsepower and 1400 newton meters of torque, there was no shortage of oomph. So let's have a quick listen now. The interior of this bus is pretty nice, with colour-coded seat fabric in the typical blue and red, silver handrails and the same ergonomic stop bells that I found on my recent review of a Newcastle B8RLE.
Unlike most Volvo B8s though, this bus lines one is a single door bus, which is quite common in regional towns as boarding and alighting speed is less relevant than in the city. But I do always like to see a rear door. Then again, with paper tickets as a must and limited passenger use, a single door design is probably handy as it helps guard against fare evasion. The longer journey time of this service also gives you a chance to see lots of different views of Dubbo. And once you get out of the immediate centre and into surrounding areas, you can see a combination of former factory sites through to cycle paths and rail lines, all within a fairly short space of time. And this helps to make the journey quite interesting. And continuing along, there's also a surprisingly large area of housing estates which we can make our way through. Whilst I certainly recognise housing estates are quite a divisive form of development, it is nice to see that people are choosing to live in regional centres, as it helps justify and support higher quality services that not only benefit Dubbo, but also surrounding towns like parks. Better availability of goods and services in large regional centres like Dubbo means less need to head to major cities like Sydney or Newcastle for administrative tasks, or to go shopping for specialty items like technology and furniture. Then again, I also really enjoyed my Saturday trip off to Dubbo, as not only did I catch this rather nice bus, I was also able to pick up some great office supplies, have a lovely breakfast and see a little more of the Central West region. So, as we make our way towards Arana Mall, I better get ready to jump off this bus. Hopefully it won't take me several months to catch my next bus. At Arana Mall, number 34 caught up with a friend and in sequence they both departed together, bound for different destinations. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again soon.